Well, I have to take this one last morning look at the beach, Waikiki here in Honolulu. Because today, heading back to Buffalo. Good morning, everyone, and hello from Honolulu. Uncle Heavy here. Starting my intro a little different today. It's our last day here. We're just finishing up our packing in a little bit. We're going to be heading for breakfast and then off to the airport. Kind of sad. I'm doing this intro, doing this little vlog here because uh, the flight from Honolulu to Detroit is nine hours long and it's an overnight flight. It's the best way to do it. Uh, Michelle and I have opted to try what's called the Delta One service. It's the, it's the service there where the chairs basically turn into beds on the plane so you can kind of sleep comfortably through the entire flight. So I wanted to document that more for myself so I'll always remember that experience, but I want to share it all with you as well. So might be a short one, might be a long one. Have no idea what's going to be going into this. Already got our plane tickets. Let's go see what kind of cool class trouble we can get into. Do come along. <laughs> back to Buffalo. We had such an amazing eight days here. Very, very sad to go back home. Look at the gardens over here. Such a beautiful airport. Thank you. All right, here we go. Okay, quick tour of the area. We have this pop-out TV screen. This is a door, or this is actually the control for the seat, which does recline into a sleeping position. We've got this tray that pops out here, and you're gonna see in a few minutes that this completely reclines. And it's pretty awesome. So it's nine hours, nine hours to Detroit. The nice thing is, should be able to sleep. We'll find out. So we got the pre-flight drink. It is sparkling wine, which is pretty much champagne. Looks like this is how you do a tray out. Little tray comes out here. Look at that.
top of a nice blanky pillow here. Got a complimentary pair of slippers to wear. And there's some kind of a accessory pack here. So it looks like we've got lip balm and hand cream. A toothbrush. A blindfold, like, to cover your eyes. Delta pen. Earplugs. That's kind of nifty. There's also a bottle of water right here, too. This is all, this is all very kind of nifty. A power outlet, a place to plug in my headphones, and a USB. I'm gonna plug in my phone right now. So, I can basically move this back. into a flat bed later on when it's time to go to sleep. This is going to be the hardest thing about going back home. Is, you can see back home right now it's, it's midnight. It's quarter after 12 and where we just left it's, it's only 6.15 in the evening so my brain and body are still on Hawaii's time so I have to go back to New York time which is very tough. So before the meal comes, we get a little pre-service with some fresh nuts. And I just got Diet Coke. I have a full adult beverage menu, but I'm thinking for just right now, I'm good with Coke. Here's my TV. So look at this. This is going to be one of two meals I'll be getting tonight. This is dinner, and we'll be getting a breakfast. So once again, real flatware and cloth napkin. Very, very nice. So here I am, just kind of lounging back, watching a video. This is the only way to fly. Looks like the sun is starting to come up. Definitely the most comfortable, most comfortable scene I've ever stayed in. And breakfast is served. It's a French toast with fresh fruit and coffee. Looks really good. Well, this is pretty much the whole duration. If you're ever thinking about going to Hawaii, this is where you're going to travel. Here in the mainland, my vacation's over, but I certainly won't be forgetting it anytime soon. Mahalo, Hawaii. Mahalo. <laughs>